The United Kingdom. The land has a deep and dark history of war, turbulence, and conflict. So it's no wonder the country is scattered with hundreds of spooky, spine-tingling, and horrifically haunted locations. The ancient architecture. Medieval castles. Victorian mansions. And haunted houses are bursting with myth and legend. And of course, we cannot forget the echoed voices of the past creeping around the dark corners of these spooky spots who have many tales to share with us. Tonight, we explore the buried Pomeroy Castle in Devon, England. Pomeroy Castle remained in the hands of the Pomeroy family until the 1540s, when it was acquired by the same orders. The family, including one of Henry VIII's many wives, owned the castle until 1688 when it was abandoned. The shell of a once stunning castle is all that is left today. It sits completely empty and often leaves visitors feeling unsettled and scared. It's so haunted that it's said to rival the notorious Tower of London, which is said to be one of the most haunted places not only in the United Kingdom, but on Earth. The legend goes that her and her sister Eleanor were both in love with the same man, but that he only had eyes for Margaret. Eleanor, in a jealous rage, imprisoned Margaret in what is known today as St. Margaret's Tower, where she left her to slowly starve to death. She's haunted the castle for many centuries. Today, she's been seen gliding along the rampart walk, which leads to the tower and the lawn. As like most ghosts, she's not confined to one spot or area. La la la. is said to be the ghost of a lady who got pregnant after she was raped by her father. It is said that when the baby was born, it was either strangled or thrown into one of the fires on the upper floors. Whether it was her or her father is unknown. The ghost is said to lure visitors to certain parts of the castle, and that her face is contorted in a terrifying way. She has been seen also on the battlements, and seen staring down from one of the windows of the main building from the courtyard. In 2005, a couple from Market Drayton and Shropshire reported to have seen the Blue Lady staring down at them from one of the windows overlooking the courtyard. She was wearing a dark blue cape and a blue hood, with a serious intense look to her. The atmosphere and air felt freezing and eerie for a few minutes before fear took over, and the couple felt they had to leave. A young lady dressed in a black dress and white ruffle has been reported to be standing over by the doorway to the inside of the gatehouse during the late afternoon. She appears head to toe in black and appears solid rather than transparent. There has also been reports by mediums visiting the castle grounds and picking up the spirits of some of the chefs and workers who worked at the castle, where the ghosts commented on why the mediums were alone and that they were dressed strangely. The back corner of the castle grounds is a spot with a tale to tell, and the area is called Pomeroy's Leap. 
Two Dele Pomeroy brothers were in the castle when it was being sieged, and rather than go into a long, drawn-out battle that they would ultimately lose, they mounted their horses in full battle armor and rode them straight off a cliff to their death. People have apparently reported hearing thudding sounds and horses' hooves galloping around the courtyard and gatehouse areas. Screams as if something or someone has fallen down the cliff have also been heard. A big black dog has apparently been seen on the grassy area, just outside the castle in the courtyard as you walk through the arch. He is seen by some visitors, and not by others, and disappears and dissolves in front of people. Please come and play with me. I'm so lonely. There has been an extreme amount of other experiences reported from guests while touring the castle. Many have reported to see full body apparitions of the ghosts who died there. While others have reported unexplained whispering, shadows with no source, cold spots, atmosphere change, freak winds, a shadowy cloaked monk, a spirit child. The ghost of a medieval gesture. Musket fire from past battles. The feeling of being watched. And even being pushed by an unseen force. I believe the Barry Pomeroy Castle is without a doubt haunted. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you're brave enough, book a tour of the castle online and see for yourself. Just remember, don't go into the dark. Hello.